Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be learning how to take a website made in Photoshop and convert it into an actual HTML slash CSS file to be used as an actual website. Well, actually, we'll only be learning half of the process in this video. In previous videos, I've taught you guys how to make the PSD that we'll be using in this video, and I've also taught you guys how to get the folder ready for this website. Now, in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to type up the markup language for the video, and in the next and last video, I'll be teaching you guys how to finish it up by typing out the CSS for the website and completing the whole website. So with that being said, let me show you guys the website PSD that we made previously. If you haven't seen this before, then you probably want to watch the tutorial that I made previously to make this website so then you could move on to writing the markup language for it. I'll put the link in the video description below to that tutorial. And also, let me go ahead and open up Firefox so I can show you guys our final product. This is the image. As you can see, if I click and drag, it's just one image. And this will be turned into this. This is an actual website. If I click and drag on the text, you see the text gets highlighted. Um, all the links, when you hover over it, they work. Um, all this works. If I click on this Twitter, uh, it goes to my Twitter page and stuff like that. So the website works fine. Now essentially what this tutorial is going to be teaching is how to write the markup language and to use all the different divs and put everything in order. We'll be going from left to right, um, like reading a book when we're writing our markup text. So we'll start with the logo and then we'll go to uh, the, the Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, the RSS feed, um, all these social network icons, and then the navigation and the banner and down from there. So we'll be going from left to right and we'll just be typing all the different divs and hopefully you'll get an idea of how you could use these divs and how these work so you could apply it to your own template. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this tutorial is gonna be pretty long and boring, but I mean, what do you expect from a coding tutorial? I'll be sitting here for about 20, 30 minutes just typing out code and telling you guys what it means. But hopefully this will uh, teach you guys some stuff about the different divs and uh, how you could use those so you could type out your own markup language and eventually we'll end up with our plain HTML page and then in the next tutorial we'll type out the CSS to apply to that HTML page to make it look like this. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and open up Dreamweaver and let's get started. Now while Dreamweaver is opening up, I'm going to head into this website folder and I'm going to show you guys what you should have. I showed you this in a previous tutorial. We have a source folder with the website PSD inside. We have an images folder with all of the images that we need for this website. And we have a CSS folder where the style.css uh, file will ultimately end up. And this will be used in the next tutorial. Also, if you haven't seen the tutorial on how to get your website folder ready, I'll also provide that link to that tutorial in the video description below. So once you've watched that tutorial and gotten your website folder ready and watched the next tutorial and gotten your PSD ready, we're ready to begin. Now in the PSD, uh, you just really need to go look at it quickly and just find important things that you need to keep. Let me show you what I mean. In our website folder, we have uh, a couple images. We have banner1.png, we have the drop shadow for the banner, we have all four social network icons, we have the logo, um, a favicon, and that's pretty much all that we need. Uh, just you want to go ahead, quickly look through your uh, website template that's made in Photoshop and just grab important pictures and stuff like that that you're going to need to include into your website. And when you have that done, uh, just put all of those in your images folder and then open up Dreamweaver and let's make a new HTML file. So click on that HTML that I just did or click on file new to make a new HTML file. Now there's a couple things that we need to do before we head into uh, typing out all the divs and all that code for the actual website. Um, obviously we don't want untitled document to be the name of our website or the title of our website. So we'll change that to octotoots.com. And then we need to add two lines of code uh, to make sure that things go smoothly. 
The first line of code I'm going to add is uh, the CSS code that tells our HTML file to look at that style.css style sheet that we'll make in the next tutorial so it knows how to organize everything and how to make everything look. So we'll uh, type in link ref equals CSS slash, slash style dot CSS. Um, as I said, I will be keeping the style dot CSS file in that CSS folder. So that's where mine is going to go. And then we're going to type in REL equals style sheet. And then type equals text slash CSS. And then we're going to close that off. And then one more line of code that we need. We want to make sure that we have a favicon for this website. If you don't know what a favicon is, it's pretty much um, the little icon that you get in the corner. Over here, we have this little uh, Safari favicon. If we head over to YouTube, we get that YouTube favicon over here. So that's what a favicon is. We want to make sure that our website has one. So we're going to type in link rel equals shortcut icon. And then we want to add that link. I have my favicon in my images folder. So I'm going to type in href equals images slash favicon dot ico. And then let's finish that up. So those are the two lines of code that we need before we get started. And now let's uh, click over here next to the body and let's make a little room and let's get started on typing out all of the divs for the body. So the first div we want to type out is the div ID of container. So div ID equals container and let's close that up. Now what this div ID does or what it contains is pretty much everything on our website. Everything in this white area, all the content of our website will go within this div ID. And we'll press enter a couple times and close this div off. And what I'm going to do is leave ourselves a little note that says end container. So this way we know what this specific div tag does. Uh, by the end of this tutorial, I'll have like 15 different divs and um, all of this code will look the same. The only thing separating it will be these little notes letting us know which div tag is for which div. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is click on File, Save As, and I'm going to save this into our website folder. Uh, the one on my website, I'll, or the one on my desktop, I'll save it as index.html. Now the reason I'm saving this is because our next div tag is going to be uh, header. Our next div ID is going to be header and within the header we have a couple images. So it's important to know that this is saved in your website folder before you add some images. So let's click up here and add a little more space. Press tab and let's type in div ID equals header. And let's close that up and then we're going to go ahead and dive right into the logo and type in image source, browse, and we'll find that logo within the images. Okay, and then we'll give this an alt of logo. Okay, so now we have the header with the logo. What I'm going to do before I forget is end this header and leave us a little note and header. Okay, but we have a lot more to go. So far we have the logo, but what I want to include in the header is not only this logo, but the social network icons along with the navigation bar. That's all going to go in the header. So I'm going to press enter a couple times. We have the, um, the logo done and I'm going to type in BR to leave a little space and then let's go ahead and type in ULID equals social. Now we're going to treat the social network icons as a list, as something that you would do for a navigation bar. You'll see the process for the social network icons is going to be pretty much the same as for the navigation. But instead of uh, text, we're going to put images. So it's treated as a navigation, uh, but it really isn't. It's just a bunch of images. So we'll give it an ID of social so we can edit it later on in our CSS. And then let's press enter and start off with li a ref equals, and this is going to be whatever link the first one's going to link to. And the first one is Twitter. So twitter.com slash octosites. And let's give it a target of blank so it opens up in a new page. And let's close that. And then let's do image source. And then let's browse for that image, which is in our images folder. Twitter, there we go. So twitter.com slash PNG, and then let's just close that up. And that pretty much finishes it. Let's close up the A tag. 
and then let's close up li. So we're done with that. Now we just need to copy and paste this four times. One, two, three, four, or five. Let me check. Actually, we only need to copy and paste it three times. We have four icons. So now I'll change the second one to facebook.com slash octosites and images slash facebook.png. The third one will lead to youtube.com slash octotuts and we'll change this to youtube.png. And the last one, we'll just put a hashtag because we're not going to put a link for now. And this is RSS. Dot png so now we're done with uh, the social icons and we'll copy this whole thing and we'll paste it again now this time the ul id is going to be nav and then instead of uh, uh actual link to like twitter and stuff we'll put index.html and instead of an image we'll just type we'll delete this image right here and we'll type in home and then let's go ahead and do that for the rest of these. Actually, I'll delete this and just copy the one I did over here. Also, before I forget, one more thing that we want to do is type in these little separating bars between each one of the things. Because if you notice, we have uh, home, a separating bar, about, a separating bar, services, all that stuff, and a separating bar. But um, if you could see, the separating bar is white while the rest of the links are black. Now, in order to do that, we need to um, specify uh, the code for this separating bar. So we'll put it in a span tag. So span space separating bar space slash span. So we're going to close up that span. And then we're going to use this later on, the span later on, to edit that in our CSS to make it white. And then we'll copy this and paste it a couple times, I believe four times. So we have five items and five items. Okay. So our second thing is about. Let's change this link to about. And the name to about. Our third, I believe, is services. Let's change this to services. And then portfolio. And then finally contact. And for our contact, we don't need the separating bar. So we'll delete that. Okay, and there we go. Now we're almost done. We need to just close this UL. And actually, uh, I forgot to close it for the social, so we'll close that UL too. And then all we need to do is make sure that we have the div ending the header. And that is it. That is the end of the header page. So let's press enter a couple times and let's press delete so we could go back over here and let's just start with the next section. We have the logo, the navigation bar and the social network icons all in the header. And now what we want to do is add a new div with the ID of featured. The featured div is going to contain uh, the banner and that's pretty much it. That's all that's going to go in the feature div. And I'll press enter a couple times and close that div and then leave us a little note and featured okay and then i'm gonna click right here and let's add press tab and add image src browse and let's look for that banner okay so we have that banner we're gonna give this an alt of banner and we're gonna give this its own class so we could um later edit it in our css style sheet we're gonna give it a class of featured image and then close that up. And then one more thing, we want to add the drop shadow for the banner. I don't know if you'll be able to really see it in this tutorial, but we have this banner image. And then right below it, we have a separate drop shadow for the banner. So we'll go ahead and add that too. So image source. And we'll browse for that right over here. And then we'll just give this an alt of drop shadow. And then we'll also give this a class of drop shadow. We'll also be later editing this in um, the CSS code. And we'll close that up. And that is the end of the feature section. 
So we have the logo, the social network icons, the nav bar, and this feature section. Now we just need this content and the footer. So let's head back into Dreamweaver. And let's press enter after the end feature section a couple times. And we're going to start with div ID equals main. Now div ID equals main is going to be, uh, is going to contain the majority of our stuff. So we'll start that off with typing that out div ID equals main. And when I said it contains a majority of our stuff, I meant it. There are four divs just within this one div. Um, we'll press uh, enter, press tab, and let's add another div right away. Uh, div ID equals content. And this is where the writing and all the main content for the website is going to go. As you can see, I only have one line written over here, uh, but there's there should be more on your actual website. So I'll just go ahead and copy this and paste it over here in this content. I'll do H1, header one for the welcome, and close that off. And then what we'll do is add uh, HR for a separating bar. And then we'll press enter. Um, we'll put the main content in H3 and paste that in and then close that off. So let's take a look at what I just did. I added this welcome in H1. I added the separator bar with the HR code and then I put the main content in H3. So that's looking good. That looks like it's pretty much it for the content. So let's close this div off and then let's leave us a little note and content. And there you go. So that's looking pretty good. Now what we want to do is add another div, press enter twice. Let's add a div with an ID of call one. And I'll show you guys what that is in a second. Let's close that div off. And let's leave us a little note. Okay, so we have three columns on our website. Who we are, what we do, and why choose us. This is going to be call one, call two, and call three. They're each going to have their own div. So let's head back into that. We have call one right over here. I'm going to press tab and add who we are in an H2 tag. And then I'm going to add HR for another separator line. And then we'll put all this text over here within P, a paragraph code. Head back into Dreamweaver, paste that in, and then we'll do P and then end it with slash P. Okay, that's looking good. And then we ended column one, and we'll just copy this and paste it twice for column two and three. And we'll change the div ID to column two, div ID for column three. And then we'll just change the writing from who we are to what we do. And then for column three, we'll change the writing from who we are to why choose us. Okay, and that looks pretty good. And that looks like it is it for, um, for the content area, for the main area. So now we could go ahead and end that div. And leave us a little note that says end main. Okay, there we go. So now we're done with this main and all four divs inside of the main. Now all that's left is the footer. So let's press enter twice. Div ID equals footer. All that's going to go in the footer. Oops. Let's go back to the website. All that's going to go in the footer is this little copyright and a couple extra pages. So let's minimize this. And then we'll end the footer right away so we don't forget. And footer. Okay, and within the footer, I'm just going to copy and paste this text. But there are a couple things that we need to do to this text. Um, I'm going to put the whole thing in a span tag so we can edit it later on. First of all, and then I'm going to put this copyright in a P tag. For the paragraph 
and then we'll type in BR to leave a space. And then we have to get started with another navigation type list. So I'll go ahead and copy this UL for the navigation bar that we uh, made in the beginning of this. And then I'm going to paste it right over here. So now instead of all this stuff, I'll type in all the stuff that I have at the bottom. So contact, advertise, sitemap, privacy, and finally top so they could return back to the top page. And instead of these span tags of the separators, I'll just put little dashes so it looks a little different. We'll put a hyphen. Okay, and then I just need to change these links so they match them. Um, sitemap, privacy, and I forgot to do top. Okay. So for the top, we'll put hashtag top, and that'll make the web page go back to the top. Privacy, privacy.html. Sitemap.html. Advertise.html and contact.html and that looks good so we have the end footer and end container and finally we are done so we'll go ahead and click file save and let's preview this in Safari and this is what we have I know you're probably gonna be very disappointed at this point um, but you're you're good this is what it's supposed to look like what we're gonna do is take this this is just the markup we have everything from the logo all the way down to the footer written down. And in the next tutorial with the CSS, all this is going to fall into place. So ultimately, it ends up looking like this. So this is pretty much it for this video tutorial. I know it was very boring, but I mean, hey, that's the process. Ultimately, what we did was we just went from left to right, like reading a book, and we just added everything that our website contains inside of this markup. So we have the logo, then we added the navigation, or then we added the social network icons, then the navigation, then the banner, and pretty much just went down from there. We added all those in order uh, with their different div tags, and we kept all those div tags in mind. So next, when we add the style sheet, we could edit all of those to our liking to make it look exactly how we want. So that's it for this video tutorial. All the links will be in the video description below. Um, and I'll put the links to the previous tutorials as well as the next tutorial after this when that one comes out in the video description as well. So that's it. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.